iced coffee. Every single teen girl loves it, but since we are in quarantine, we can't really go out to Dunkin' or Starbucks to get our favorite iced coffee. So I'm going to be attempting to make the best iced coffee from home. Hey guys, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. So as you all know, we are all stuck in quarantine and we can't just go out to get our favorite coffee. So I thought it would be fun to try and make the perfect iced coffee from home. So I'm gonna be trying three different recipes. The first one I'm gonna be trying is Emma Chamberlain's like original homemade coffee recipe before she had her own line and stuff. And then the second one, I'm gonna be trying to make the Starbucks iced caramel latte, cause that's what I get when I go to Starbucks. And then the third one I'm gonna be trying is just my coffee, like how I usually make it at home. And we're gonna be comparing them all. So I got a bunch of ingredients to make the perfect coffee and we're gonna see what is the best one because it's such a struggle making iced coffee at home. I don't know why, but sometimes it just comes out extremely nasty. Sometimes it comes out good but it's just never as good as Starbucks or Dunkin'. So we're going to try to make it today. So if you guys are new, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And also go follow my Instagram at oddcarol, it'll be on the screen and let's just get into it. Okay, so the first coffee recipe that we're gonna be trying is Emma Chamberlain's coffee. This is from like the video that she made like three years ago. I'll put it up on the screen here. And I'll also have it linked below in case you wanna watch the original one. But this is like her original coffee recipe. And I'm kind of nervous for this one cause I feel like it's not gonna be very sweet and I kind of like my coffee sweet, but I'm also excited. First thing you need is unsweetened, just normal almond milk. So this is the type I got. I got nut pods and she also says you need the original unsweetened one and then i'm also obviously going to be using one of my coffees so for her instructions i'm going to be doing it in the exact order of how she did it so she said to freshly brew your coffee and then cool it and then she says to put ice in a cup first so that's the first thing we're going to do okay so we have our ice in her cup and the next thing that she does is put her coffee in the cup so i'm just going to pour that in So then she adds almond milk and in the video she did like mostly almond milk and then just a little bit of the nut pod. So I'm gonna add a lot of this in and then just a little bit of the nut pod on top. And then she just kind of like topped it off with the nut pod. So I don't really know what this is supposed to taste like. I don't even know what this is. It's almond milk and coconut. Oh, it is. Almond and coconut creamer. So I don't drink almond milk usually, like I've had it before. Sometimes at coffee places, but I always just get normal milk. <laughs> Why is this not working? And now we're just going to top this off with the nut pod. Okay, so this is the finished Emma Chamberlain coffee. We're not gonna try this yet. I'm gonna try them all at the end so I can really get a feel of what it tastes like and compare them, you know? So I'm gonna put this on in the fridge and then we'll try the next one. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna be trying is the Starbucks iced caramel latte. This is my everyday, well, not everyday. If I was rich, it would be my everyday, but <laughs> you get the point. This is what I always get when I go to Starbucks. And yeah, so the ingredients, you need whole milk, and then also you need caramel syrup. I got this from Target as well. And then also coffee and ice. So first what they do, they do it differently. So they add their coffee and their milk first, and then they like mix that around. So I'm gonna add that coffee and then they do three-fourths cup of whole milk so it's very specific three-fourths cup of milk then they kind of just stir that around <laughs> i don't have a spoon on me so i'll just do this and then they did three pumps of caramel mine doesn't have a pump so i'm just going to kind of estimate i don't know do it. like three splashes one two <laughs> three I think that's good. And then they put their ice in. <laughs> I 
filming. <laughs> okay, so now for my last recipe. This is just my everyday coffee routine. This is what I make. Every Stop. What is all over your shirt? Oh, so <laughs> what is that shit? I think it's cream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but that's just gonna drive me insane. Yeah. I'm still Redo. killing. Take two. So now for my. <laughs> So now for the last recipe, we're gonna be doing my everyday iced coffee routine. This is just what I make at home every afternoon when I'm getting a little tired. So first things first, you need some sugar. I don't really add that much of this, but just a little bit because I like my coffee sweet, but not too creamy and watered down, you know? So this makes it sweet without making it watered down tasting from the cream. So then I take my cream, this is the type I use. We just get whichever one's on sale, but basically just normal cream. <laughs> and gotta shake it up. And then we just pour it in. I kind of just eyeball this just because I just know how to make my own coffee. So I'm such a pro. <laughs> so now that we have the cream in, I just add my ice. And I basically just kind of fill it up to the top. And then I take my coffee and I just slowly pour it over the ice, like so. Delicious. And then usually I kind of, since I'm obviously not a barista, I can try it and see what I need to add. So I'll just like mix this up, probably add a little more cream and then see how I like it. So I'm not gonna try it yet just because obviously we gotta try them all in a row. So I'm gonna get the other coffees and then we'll have the taste test. Okay, so now we have a special guest, Taylor, my Hi. sister. If you guys are new, this is my sister. She is 18. Wait, I'm 19. <laughs> she's 19. <laughs> she's a, she just finished her freshman year in college, and she's home. Yay. So she wanted to be in the video so she can try the coffee drink. So now we'll have two different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like we have different tastes in coffee? Um, yes. Explain. Well, I drink <laughs> almond milk and mm -hmm. she doesn't, so that's one difference. But other than that, like we get pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Like I get a, usually from Starbucks, I'll get like an iced caramel macchiato with almond milk. Hello? Oh, what do we got cooking now? Oh my goodness, we got a movie studio going <laughs> on here. Okay, so the first one we're gonna try is Emma's coffee because that's the first one we made. So as you can tell, we have a cute little display right here. Okay. This one, I feel like I'm not gonna like. One, it's like separating weirdly. Okay, sorry you can't try at the same time, Taylor. <laughs> it's okay. Don't say what you think. Just try it, and then I try it, and okay. then say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long step. <laughs> Ew. It tastes like it rotten. <laughs> it tastes watered down. Like it doesn't even taste good. Are you sure? Ew, that really tastes. Actually, really that good. tastes like absolute horrible. Absolutely I need horrible. Okay, let's try. No, we need some water to yeah. cleanse our palate. Uh, Got the hydro mask. <laughs> Let me see if that stuff was expired. Yeah, it almost tastes like we were using like rotten milk or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It wasn't expired, but it tasted like. I don't even know, it's just really weird. It just basically tasted like you took black coffee and put a splash of milk in it. So it wasn't normally what we like. If you're like a really strong coffee person, maybe you would like it, but for me, mm -mm. So what would you rate that? <laughs> Three out of 10. <laughs> I would honestly give it like a two out of 10 because I would never take another sip of that. It was not yeah, disgusting. Yeah, makes same actually. I feel like it made me feel ugh, like almost like I need to brush my teeth after that. Yeah. So that was a thumbs good. down. Sorry, Emma, we love your YouTube videos, but <laughs> we don't love your coffee. Okay, next, this is the one that I'm most excited for because I feel like this one will be probably pretty good. You know, we got the whole milk, we got the caramel sauce, you know, what can go wrong? Hopefully it's not too milky because it's looking a little white in complexion here, but other than that, I think it should be good. Yay! I'll try not to show my face this time. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think
think it was good. Mm -hmm. I think you could have put some more caramel in it though. Okay, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see what it tastes like with a little more caramel. I say caramel, she says caramel. Is that a lot? No. Does it taste good now? Well, it definitely tastes sweet, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the caramel, honestly, it has a weird flavor. Like, it doesn't really taste like caramel because it's like liquid. It's not actual caramel syrup. But I think the whole milk really does. It tastes similar to a Starbucks coffee. Like the it consistency. Tastes, like the milk, I don't know. It tastes like a similar strength. It tastes similar. Obviously not as good, but... So I would give that one, I would give it an 8 out of 10 because I think it was really good. Like I would drink that. I didn't have anything wrong with it, but it wasn't like mind blowing or anything. So. Yeah, I would give it an 8 out of 10 too. I think if we used like a actual caramel syrup, it would have been way better. But other than that, I think it was good. Yeah. Okay. And lastly for my coffee, this is my everyday coffee. I don't know <laughs> what to say about it. I wonder if I'm going to like this one the best. That's going to be weird, you know? Yeah, probably. Mm. I like it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I like the caramel. It reminds me of Dunkin' Coffee. Caramel? There's no caramel. I mean, not the caramel, the um, sugar. sugar. Because mm. I love Dunkin' Coffee when you get the sugar and you like Chew it, you know what I mean? I don't taste any chewable sugar. Did you get some in Yeah, mine crunched right in my teeth. It was awesome. It tasted just like Dunkin'. Yeah, I did make a pretty good coffee. I don't know, I feel like sometimes when you use milk, I feel like it just waters it down too much, so you can't actually taste the strength of the coffee. So what would you rate my coffee? Um, a 9 out of 10. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think mine not as good as if I were to go to like actual Dunkin' or actual Starbucks and get a coffee. But for being at home and not having a ton of fancy equipment, yeah, I say it's pretty good. I think I would give it a 9 out of 10 too. Like, I would definitely drink that whole thing. I probably will after this video. <laughs> and like the Starbucks one, it was good, but it was almost like too sweet and too watery in my opinion. Like that one. It just tasted better. I guess it's because that's what I make every single day, you know? Yeah, you're used to so, it, so you just like it. Yeah, and it was the easiest. Literally, all you need is coffee, creamer, and sugar, which everyone has. Like, I had to go and buy all this stuff from Target for all the other ones, which, like, wasn't that big of a deal, but still. So that's my favorite. So yeah, that was our video. That was super fun to try out different recipes. I always just make like the same coffee at home. So it's kind of fun to switch it up, especially since we're all in quarantine and we shouldn't really be going to Starbucks every day or Dunkin' or wherever you get your coffee from. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah. also make sure you leave your favorite coffee Ooh, recipe true. down below. Yeah, comment for how you make your coffee or like whatever type of drink, like frappuccino, pink drink, whatever, down below. And maybe we'll try it in another video or yeah. we'll just try it at home. Also make sure to go follow my Instagram. It'll be on this screen. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.